what's up guys um, here I have an Atari 1050 disk drive okay this one is working and I also have one that I've been trying to fix that's not working I don't know what's wrong with it but uh, something's wrong with the motherboard I don't I'm not sure I still haven't figured it out but I'm just gonna demonstrate right now I'm gonna put this on record uh, while I have this one open a normal boot up of a floppy disk that's uh, that will automatically boot up so basically okay this is entire this entire drive is powered off I got the the cable in serial cable in power cable in but it's off everything's off the computer's off the monitor is on okay Matter of fact, I'll turn off the monitor. Now, first things first. I'm going to power it up with no disc in it. The light, both lights come on. And that, uh, the, the head retracted. I'm going to do it again. Both lights came on. The power light came on. This one came, this, the drive light came on, but it shuts off temporarily. It, you know, it, it, it's, it came on for a couple of seconds and then it shuts off. But then this retract is back to normal. That's what made that little buzzing noise. You see that? So it makes a little noise. You see that? Watch. See that noise? That's normal. As soon as you power it up, either this is going to retract back because it probably because you had a disc there previously, whatever. But it, it, it it does that little zzz, zzz, like that but the power light comes on and stays on but this light here temporarily comes on and shuts off watch see that as soon as it goes it does that little zigzag that's normal boot up okay I mean that's the normal startup okay now the next thing is I'm gonna insert a floppy disk inside the drive okay I'm gonna lock it in place, okay? So I just locked it in place, but I didn't put the the handle down, the lever down. Okay, the next thing is I'm gonna put the lever down. As soon as I put the lever down, the disc starts to spin. Okay? So the disc is spinning and then it stops. You seen that? It spun, I'm gonna do it again. Put the disc in. It spun, spun for a couple of seconds and then it shuts off. See that? That's normal. Okay. Now, with the disc inserted, the lever down, the power light on, and this light here is off. Let's, let's see if it's, that light comes on, that drive light when I pull this down. The life drive comes on. See that? When it's when it does that spinning and then it shuts off, okay. So now, like I said, disc is inserted. The, the the levels down, power light on, and this turns turned off. As soon as I put the level down, light comes on for a couple of seconds and then it goes off. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to turn on the the monitor. I'm just going to do it in this order so I get this straight. Now I'm going to power up the Atari switch in the back. Now you see that? It's reading automatically. It's, now the disc is running. It's reading the disc right now. Both lights are on. There's no more operation here. So it's slowly going from I guess sector to sector. This is a long disc. It's a program that I that I did back in the 80s. Okay, so you see it works. This is a game that I made when I was a kid called Robo Man. So you see that? After it booted up, everything stopped. The drive light stopped, but the power light of course stays on. So that's the entire sequence there. I had to put this down. Because sometimes you, you, you don't know 
how it what goes first what starts first you know and it gets and it gets confusing you know because I'm trying to I'm trying to repair this one over here and like the power light comes on and uh, I'm supposed to be getting this let me let me show you something let me see if I can do it all right okay take the disc out I'm gonna shut it off okay Oh, well, I'm gonna turn it. Well, I'm gonna turn that on again. Okay. But I, I'm going to right, power that on, right? Um. Okay, power that on. Power the drive on. Lever's still up. No disc inside. And then I'm gonna turn on the Atari. Let's see if I get those. This is what are you supposed to get? Boo error on this drive on a 1050. Okay. With the Power light switched on, no disc inserted, lever up, you're supposed to get a boot ever like that. That's normal. That's normal thing. Okay? When you try to switch it on like that. Without the disc and power it on. That's normal. Okay? So this this part here, the boot ever here, is what I'm trying to get on this one. Okay? Without this entire drive uh, mechanism in it. Because when I remove this mechanism out of here and leave the board alone, let me shut this off, it's making a lot of noise. Um, when I remove this mechanism and just keep the board alone, just the plain board itself hooked up, I can get that boot error. Okay, so with this one over here, um, I'm not getting that boot error. I haven't yet figured it out. I swapped some chips. I swapped all these five chips and okay, I swapped these five chips with that one and um, <clears throat> these three chips here, they work perfectly, okay? They, they're identical as the ones over here. But this board is a different revision, but I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But this chip here, it's a 1993 and the one over here is a 94. Okay, when I swap that chip there, this drive doesn't work. I don't know if this is because of this chip or not, if it's bad, I don't know yet. Okay, so this chip as well has a different number on it. Okay, so when I swap this one, okay, with the other one, it doesn't work either. This one doesn't work either. Hangs. It does the same thing that this one does. It doesn't, it doesn't boot up. And you know what? I don't need, I'm not even 100% sure if this even gives that boot ever as, as well. If this, maybe it's just a different revision. It just, it doesn't do that on this one. I'm not sure. I'm still trying to get down to the nitty gritty. You know, I'm not 100% sure yet. But I got it marked down as not working. The dry, as far as the mechanism, the mechanism, I switched it also from this one to that one. It's not working correctly also. So it's got a bunch of problems. So I'm tr but first I gotta let me try to solve this problem first if it's this, this motherboard, whatever it is, chips or whatever. I did order a few parts. I ordered some um, some of these capacitors, a whole kit and all the capacitors I'm, I'm going to replace them. But uh, that's going to take several days. But anyway, I just wanted to make the video of uh, of the normal boot up on a 1050 uh, disk drive for the Atari so that's about it guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later on the next video peace out